CIT, the Center for Indigenous Theater, is a three-year training institute for Indigenous students. The students start from the beginning in year one, and each year of training builds off of the first year, and then the second year, and then third year. We also offer fourth year training to graduates, and that fourth year training is often built from um, creative energy juices that build up over the last three years. Uh, new plays are being written, video dramas are being created. CIT means inspiration. I see a lot of people come through the program who are at first very shy, and as they go through the terms and years, they become more and more solidified in who they will be as an Indigenous artist. When people come here from small communities, reservations, towns, cities, um, they are engulfed into a different world. I strongly believe that Toronto is its own world. What a CIT has let me do is uh, be in a situation, a place where there's a lot of things I don't have to think about, so I can think about the things I want to think about. And hearing the stories and working with the other students, the other Indigenous students. I have like 26 years of formal education, and there was never another Indigenous person in with, in, with me in any of those times. We are incredible people. We really are. And we have been holding ourselves to the standard of mediocrity that is the colonizer for a very, very long time now and we don't have to anymore. CIT is a place where I can like, I feel like I can really express myself like artistically. Um, I often feel like it's like an escape of mine because I feel like I can't really create the ways I can at CIT anywhere else. So I feel like it's really helped me just like bring out my creative side and like my voice as an artist. Here, they're, they kind of just make you do it and they just make you get into it like you don't really have a choice. So I've just, gotten used to it and I've gotten to really play around with it. While being here at CIT, I've learned to, you know, not be so closed off and you really do have to put yourself out there. Um, the teachers will literally force it out of you if you want to be, you know, scared or not want to do a scene, they will work with you and um, I think that's, that's what I would say uh, most that I've learned is just coming out of your uh, comfort zone and It'll only help you in the end. Expand your knowledge, expand your talents, you know, then take that leap of faith and, you know, give it a shot. Who knows? No matter what theater school you're in, it's, it's such hard work. There's lots of exploration, lots of investigation. There's a lot of self-exploration. Please come and check us out. We have so much to offer. There's a lot of Indigenous programming uh, happening in, in Ontario that we are part of and we welcome you to come and take part in those things with us. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to do this work. Miigwech. Bonjour. Bidwa a gish go kwe dish nakaz megaze do dem. We are grateful to live and work and learn on this land and acknowledge the traditional caretakers of this land. The Huron-Wendat, the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Anishinaabe. Chimigwech caretakers, Chimigwech kakamekwe. Welcome to the Center for Indigenous Theaters Program Info Session. I'm Dane Dillon, current second year. And I'm Pearl, I'm a fourth year. We are current students here at CIT. Thank you for joining us. We're here today to answer all your questions about our program and how you can apply to get into our school. You'll also get a peek at one of our past showcases as well as a guest interview, so you can get to know a bit more about the work we do here at CIT. So stay tuned. So to better introduce our school, CIT provides training in acting, voice, movement, with, culture, with cultural classes that are focused in, on dance, song, and oral history. We partner with communities and organizations across Canada, and each year we plan land-based teachings with Dabaj Majig, storytellers in Mantuaning, and Ratogzi in Nipissing First Nation. Now, here's a preview of one of our showcases. 
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2024 Water Games, where contestants compete for the very last drop of water on Earth. I'm your host, Oki, and these are your contestants. Please welcome to the stage the reigning champ, ladies and gentlemen, CT, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for CT. Contestant number two, they call him the rival. Give it up for the amazing Mimi Clay. Give it up for Mimi Clay, ladies and gentlemen. Contestant number three, they call her the runner-up. Give it up for the amazing Gim Wong, ladies and gentlemen, Gim Wong. And last, but certainly not least, is our amazing underdog, Nibby, ladies and gentlemen, Nibby. Give it up for Nibby. Now I'll just ask our contestants to make their way to the first station while I explain the rules. Here's how it works, folks. Four stations, two rounds. Our competitors are competing to get their bottle in the upright position. Whoever makes it first moves on to the next station. The first to complete two rounds wins the whole game. Now that we know the rules, let's play the game, shall we? Contestants, are you ready? On your mark, get set. And go! Ah. Ah. Okay. All the rain is defending his title, number yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's a tight one tonight, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 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 CP in the lead. Yeah. Come on. Play on on his tail. Come on. This is not the ladies and gentlemen. And the Come underdog on. is taking the lead. Oh, shit! Oh, no. No. Two, ladies and yeah. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on! Yes. What's going on? Oh shit, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Come on! Oh, What's no. going on? Oh, oh, right. oh my god! No! 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 Oh, Looks like Mimi Quay is catching up to this rival. Come on. <laughs> All right, that doesn't look like he obeyed the rules. We'll let that slide. Oh, one more, one more, one more. No. Okay, what the hell is going on? Tenth one tonight. Uh, yes. Come on. Uh, yes. yes. She won. We're still going, ladies and gentlemen. We're still playing. We're still playing. He just made the first round. Uh. I'm coming. I'm coming. Ah. He see, he needs to make one more flip and he wins the game. All oh, right, we got to win it, ladies and gentlemen. Next, that's why they call him the champ. So here's an outline of our current school year and what you can expect when you arrive here in Toronto. First, we begin with an orientation period of Toronto and CIT. Our school is located in the West End near Trinity Bellwoods. Your first week you will get to spend knowing the city and where you'll be training. Classes are typically in person, but may be online in some cases. You have a variety of classes at CIT throughout the year, such as dance, voice, physical theater, singing, stage combat, acting for camera, and story creation. You will also be on your feet and be expected to be actively participating in all classes. And remember, you can address any excess concerns or needs to your educators or staff. Now it's time for an exclusive CIT interview. Take a look. My name is Colby Fox. I'm from Money and Lake, Saskatchewan. I am 24 years old and I'm a first year here at CIT. My name is Dane Dillon. I'm in Lake, Saskatchewan as well first year and I'm 21 years old. What made me want to come to school was I always wanted to become an actor, even if it was just in the theater field. And when, when my friend Keen told me about CIT, I was very excited. I did not know it was theater school at first. I thought I was coming for dancing school. I'm glad I came out here. A lot of new opportunities, but still a big culture shock. I've always been an athlete. I've always, been, always had a love for film, movies, and acting in general. So. It was more so seeing if I would fit in. And coming to CIT, I've had friends here who I grew up with, so that helped a lot. 
coming to the city of Toronto was a little nerve wracking, I'll admit, but once you settle in, it's pretty much good. You have a lot of fun. Here, being at the school, you learn so much. It's had a blast so far. I I like how I like how it is here. It's just it's like a family. How welcoming the school was. Like coming into school, my very first day, it was. I'll admit I was nervous. I was thinking I was just gonna be not ignored in a way, but more so I was felt like I was gonna be in a shell and just sort of hiding away to the side. But literally once I stepped in through the doors, it was, hello, nice to meet you. And being in a studio with so much creative people and talented people, honestly, it motivates you almost every day. And just like, like I mentioned before, just like that family feeling. It's, everyone's connected and if you need a question asked, pretty much just go and ask someone and you get the answer. I really like the, the teachers. They're very nice, very welcoming. They're not too hard on you if you mess something up. They'll, they'll try to explain in the best way they can. When it came to the curriculum though, first thing that stood up for me was stage combat. I did not know that came with theater. So it was pretty fun to learn how to be punched without being punched. Coming to school here, you actually find stuff that you never really learned that you had and it brings you out of your shell more. Honestly, just expect a lot of fun. Um, coming to the city, you learn so much in the school and it becomes like a second job. It's very fun. You challenge yourself almost every day, which I like to do. Honestly, if you do decide to come here, just give it your all and have a lot of fun. Don't be afraid. It's one thing that held me back for a couple of years and I'm glad I took the chance to come out here. Uh, to all the people that are considering coming to this school, please do. You're, you're going to learn a lot about yourself that you never even knew was there in the first place. Inspired to apply yet? Let us know in the comments. Requirements needed to apply to the Center for Indigenous Theater are you must identify as First Nations, Métis, or Inuit, be 18 years of age or older, have an acquired grade 10 English level or higher, have an interest in the performance arts, theater, and self-discovery, as well as an interest in exploring indigenous cultural and knowledge. Now that we've gone over the requirements, here are important documents that you must submit when applying to CIT. They include an updated resume, 500 word essay expressing your interest in theater and coming to CIT, two references that can vouch for your interest in theater, a photocopy of your health card, and an audition video of you doing some script work. To help you out with your audition, we created a how-to video. Take a look. Hi, I'm Sam Twin. I'm a fourth year student here at Center for Indigenous Theater. Hi, I'm Teresa Kutnaif, and I'm also a fourth year student at the Center for Indigenous Theater. Uh, we'll give you some tips and tricks on uh, how to do your monologues and get them sent into CIT. Yes, so first find an age appropriate monologue for yourself. Uh, use something from the indigenous canon, uh, something like from Thompson Highway, Drew Hayden Taylor, uh, Kenneth T. Williams, do you have any more? Keith Barker, Alanis King, and if you have any troubles finding anything like that, you could email CIT and we'll provide you with a monologue. So Sam, what did you do for your um, audition into CIT? I did uh, Ivic from Thunderstick by uh, Kenneth Williams. What about you, what did you do? I was sent a collection of different uh, story pieces from Coyote City. What to wear, uh, wear something simple, neutral colors, something that you're comfortable and confident in. Yep, and you know, it does, there's not really a time limit for it, but uh, it should be around three minutes. If you have any other skills that you wanna show, like singing, dancing, hand drumming, anything and everything, feel free to submit it, but you do have to have a monologue. Unless, of course, you're a storyteller and you have a story. Uh, then you could submit that instead of the monologue, but no accents, please. And the most important thing is to have fun. And if you stumble, that's okay. Yep. You can do it over and over as many times as you feel. Have any other difficulties like doing your, your monologue or audition? Uh, probably the hardest part was memorizing it all. And uh, I had somebody film it for me. 
I did not know that it was best to film it with a neutral background, so I filmed it just in a living room and there was a lot of uh, things in the background, but it worked out. And you don't need a professional camera. Uh, we're doing this on an iPhone 10. You can stack it up on some books or put it on a table, whatever you gotta do. As long as it's capturing basically from half of your torso up so we can see your shoulders and your head. You could have a, a relative or somebody hold the camera for you and you can just send that into CIT. Have fun. There are ongoing requirements in order to remain in the program. Curious on what it takes to be a CIT graduate? You are expected to be on time and present for all classes, and you must be actively looking for funding while you attend your studies. Tuition costs each year are $3,750. We would like to mention that there are alternative funding options if you are unable to receive financial support from your band. There are other organizations that you can submit to applications to for funding. These include, but are not limited to, Indispire Foundation, Dreamcatcher Charitable Foundation, Métis Nation of Ontario, Canada Post, Mississaugas of the Credit, and other local organizations. If you are in need of funding or application assistance, contact us at Centre for Indigenous Theatre. We are accepting applications for our full-time program as well as a summer intensive now. No student has ever been turned away due to lack of funding. Before we go, please make sure to follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook to stay updated on CIT news and updates. Also, check out our website at indigenoustheater.com for more information on our school and programming. Thanks for attending the CIT's program info session. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or contact us through our website and social media platforms. See you, See you soon. soon.